Hey beer tubers! Tonight's beer blog is going to be on an Imperial Stout by Victory Brewing, and that is going to be the Storm King. Victory Brewing, uh, if some of you do not know, it's located in Pennsylvania, which is home of Beer Geek Nation. And this beer, this particular beer, I cannot get in San Francisco. At least, I haven't seen it anyways. Although we do get other Victory Brewing beers, which they're great. Uh, but I got this on my recent trip in San Diego, which you should see my San Diego tour video that I'm going to be posting on my Tuba channel. Uh, so keep an eye on that. But I got this beer uh, from this amazing place in San Diego called Mesa Wine and Liquor Co. And out of all the places that I've been to, I think that has the absolute best beer selection that you can ever find in San Diego. They have, I think they have around 1,200 beers available. Well, this Imperial Stout, it is a, what is it, 9.5%, uh, 9.1% ABV. And as some of you know, Imperial Stouts are just the strong version, more sugared up version of a stout. And they're pretty strong, usually sometimes characteristic of uh, coffee, uh, roasted flavors from the roasted malts, um, chocolate. So we're going to see how this is. Here we go. I'm going to be pouring it. Usually with high alcohol you won't get much head, but it also depends. And we got a lot of head. Bam. Look at that. Yep, so as we can see here, it has some dark coffee kind of color head. It's about three finger head here. Um, I'm pouring in this Belgian tulip glass just because I, I like it better. I could actually smell it, uh, especially once the head subsides. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty frothy. The color of it is quite dark. Just like a good Imperial Stout, you cannot see through it. All right, now that the head kind of chilled out here, um, I'm gonna give this a whiff here. Oh. I actually smell hops. Wow, crazy. It was kind of like the um, Great Divide Yeti where you could actually smell some hops and you could taste some hops because they use some of those stronger American ones. Uh, although the Yeti has so much more going on than just hops. But this, I do smell the hops. I don't know what kind of hops, but it smells familiar though. Anyways, that's, that's crazy how, how I could actually smell more hops than anything. Yeah, like, some chocolate, but it's mostly hops that I smell. Hmm. Well, anyways, uh, let me go ahead and dive in. Come bite. It is quite smooth. Yeah, very smooth. Um, I taste some roasted malts, definitely. I get some, uh, some light coffee kind of notes on the back of the tongue. But overall, it's um, it's not bad. It's a not bad Imperial Stout for sure. I mean, if I brewed this, I'd be so happy. But now, I don't think this is one of the best I've had, but this is still quite good. And Victory Brewing is a well-respected brewery, and they do make some very good beers. Like their their uh, their Pilsner is awesome. It's it's quite sweet, and <coughs> and their um, Golden Monkey is uh, uh, their triple style. Oh, no, Golden Belgian Golden ale style, which is good. I definitely taste more American than Belgian, obviously, but, but I mean, it's, it's good, though. I, I, I remember watching a video that the, that the main brewer actually had to fire some of their workers because their workers were drinking a lot of Golden Monkey, and it's 9%, and if they're not used to that, they end up getting drunk, and they're talking, you know, trash talk and cussing and all that at work, and they end up getting fired. Uh, anyways, <laughs> there's a little side story that you can see on YouTube, but... Yeah, this, this is pretty good. I'm getting some some uh, chocolate for sure now. I'm getting some sweet chocolate going on uh, more than just hops, which is great because if it was just hops, I would just be like, man, this is like a C-level Imperial Stout. But no, there's there's a lot more going on. It's very smooth, creamy head, um, some some coffee notes on the, uh, on the surface of the tongue that you get. Um, like I said, hops is present, and as it warms up, you get some of this creamy chocolate kind of feel uh, on the front part of the tongue, whereas coffee in the back of the tongue. So, yeah, this is quite quite good. So, this was Victory Brewing's Storm King, their Imperial Stout. It is good. 
Uh, I recommend it. Um, I give it like a like a good B B plus kind of imperial stout. Um, definitely check it out. I think it's very worth the money. And thanks again to Louie at Messer Mesa Wine and Liquor Co. Really appreciate it. And if you're in San Diego, really check him out, guys. All right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in another beer blog. Come bye.